Hello folks, welcome back. I got a new uh, pair of battles for you. Um, <clears throat> using my SAM team uh, against a random Japanese opponent on Wi-Fi. Um, uh, so he's mostly using OU and NU guys, uh, so I'm feeling pretty confident here. I mean, I see that Kingdra there, but, uh, you know, and Kingdra is someone who I don't really, uh, who I can't really deal with too well, but um, that's only one guy and the rest are, you know, way below my tier, so I'm hoping that this is going to be a good battle, but not really thinking it will be. Um, so, uh, especially since the guy selected Lagoon Coliseum, which usually means he hasn't invested too much time in playtesting these in PBR. Um, I mean, not that you really need to playtest in PBR, but, you know, uh, whatever. Uh, anyway, uh, I, he sends out Miltank and I go ahead and use a superpower. Miltank gets off a body slam first, um, which, as you're about to see, is going to hit pretty hard. Uh, yeah, it hit a lot harder than I was expecting, and I get paralyzed. Um, so, but luckily I don't get the para hacks, and I do manage to get off my attack, and, and it one hit KO's milk tank, it wasn't holding a uh, focus dash or anything, not that it really would, I mean, you want leftovers recovery on that baby, um, but milk tank goes down, and I've taken out one of his guys, although, <clears throat> uh, Mammoth Swine is now kind of crippled. Um, so anyway, out comes Wormadam. And, um, you know, Superpower's not going to do anything to him anyway. Um, actually, wait, no, I'm sorry, that's a, uh, that's a Trash Cloak one, so what have I guess done neutral damage? Does Bug Tank resist fighting? I don't think it does, actually, so it would have been super effective. Um, but still not worth staying in. Um, so I switch in Zapdos, who's going to go ahead and use Heat Wave. Um, gets hit by, um, gets hit by a Gyro Ball, but doesn't do too much damage. So he goes ahead and switches out, um, which is unfortunate. Uh, he sends out Minetric, um, who I don't really see too much. Uh, it's a cool looking Pokemon, um, and it does pretty well in, uh, these battles, but, uh, yeah, I don't see it too much. So anyway, um, I pull back Zapdos because I'm really not sure what it's gonna do. And I go ahead and send out Umbreon, um, to Heal Bell, um, my, uh, paralyzed What's his face? Um, my paralyzed Mamoswine. Uh, Thunderbolt does quite a bit of damage. Uh, I'm impressed. Um, you know, against Mick, you know, doing uh, a, a lot of damage is kind of a, a pretty impressive feat. So he goes ahead and pulls back Manetric, not really sure what I'm going to do, and he sends out uh, Wormadam again. Um, so I get on the heal bell, and I consider the fact that, you know, this guy really can't do too much to me, so I could just, you know, tank it, and I could take him out. Uh, and indeed, I do go for the curse to um, start off with, um, and then he goes for uh, yeah. So sorry, got a lot of boost. He goes for a gyro ball. So if he's all, if all he's going to do is gyro ball, then you know I really could stay in and tank this. But I think you know, do I really want another long drawn out stalling battle? Um, so I go ahead and use Moonlight uh, to get Umbreon back up to full health. Um, and then I am going to switch him out on the next turn because, you know, this is just going to be painfully long otherwise. And that's really not fun. So I call back Umbreon. I call back Umbreon slowly. Um, and send in uh, Zapdos. Uh, and Zapdos is going to go ahead and he wave this guy. And if, if he switches out, then that's fine. As long as I, my attack doesn't miss, you know, I'll take out one of his Pokemon on the next turn. He goes ahead and sucker punches me just to get in some last minute damage. Um, doesn't really do much to me. Uh, Wormadam is NU for a reason. Uh, does not hit hard at all. Um, but yeah, so I take it out and uh, he's down to his Manetric. And that is A-OK -okay with me. Um, but, and I'll also keep in mind that I have, um, what's his name? Mamoswine left, so if he goes ahead and Thunderbolts me, or if I predict a Thunderbolt, I can always switch him back in and do an Earthquake. Anyway, he's a switcheroo, um, so now I have a choice spec, so yeah, he, he would have been locked into Thunderbolt. Um, so hey, that helps me out quite a bit. I mean, not that I really needed it, but it does allow me to take him out. Maybe he was thinking I was going to go for a Roost, which wouldn't have been a bad idea on my part. I did consider using Roost, uh, but I'm glad I didn't. So anyway, I've taken him out, and that was a short little battle, um, and an easy victory for me. Um, basically, uh, I had just come off of a really humiliating defeat, uh, against a random Japanese opponent, and, um... So this kind of restored my confidence a little, um, but I didn't think I was going to upload this battle um, until I saw that I was going right back against this guy. Uh, I was going for a, trying to find a, you know, a different opponent. Um, yeah, the battle where I get my ass kicked um, against a Japanese opponent with the same team 
uh, you know, I use my own team, um, my SAM team again. Uh, I may upload that someday, but right now it's just too painful. Uh, you know, I've never been swept that badly. It was, you know, bad selection screen, bad everything. So anyway, he sends out Kingdra, who will resist Iron Head. Yeah, I've, I've changed up my, uh, my team just because, you know, figure try something new. So I go ahead and use Zen Headbutt, but it misses. Ah! Um, so that's really too bad. And he gets in the Rain Dance, which essentially gives him a Choice Scarf. It doubles the speed. So now, um... So I'm not sure who's faster, Kingdra or Jirachi, and I'm hoping it's me, but it's not. And with the boosts from Rain Dance, uh, and I think he has a, excuse me, I think he has a Life Orb, uh, that one hit KO's Jirachi, which really surprised me. I was not expecting that. But no good for me. So I sent out Zapdos, um, and I'm gonna go ahead and, you know, try to do something to this guy. I go ahead and use Discharge, um, he goes first, and he does something that uh, was really stupid. He used Ice Beam, which um, you know, yes, it's a super effective hit, but Kingdra doesn't have Stab, and it's not, and you know, it doesn't get any boost from the rain. He could have KO'd me if he'd used um, Hydro Pump. Instead, I get the Parahax. Um, so anyway, I go ahead and Roost, um, which wasn't necessarily the best move because. Um, but I'm deciding to take advantage of this paralysis, and uh, then I use Hidden Power Grass, thinking I can take it out with it. Um, not thinking it was super effective, just thinking I didn't really need the firepower of um, my attack. But anyway, he uses Ice Beam again, um, which I really should have paid attention. Um, does more than half uh, damage. Anyway, so I've recovered, uh, you know, I survive with so little uh, HP, but I do survive, and I go ahead and take him out with the final discharge, and he is down, and so now he's down to his last Pokemon. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping that I can win this, but, you know, uh, Zapdos is hanging on to its last shred of health, and he sends in Manetric. Uh, so here's what I forgot. I forgot that Manetric was faster. I thought that Zapdos was faster, so I go ahead and think, oh, I can use Roost. Um, he, is, he uses Hidden Power, which takes me out, and, um... Zapdos is down. Um, so, uh, oh wait, hold on, he has two Pokemon left, doesn't he? Because I just took out, um, Kingdra. Oh well, so anyway, I send out Umbreon, and, you know, I'm thinking that this is pretty much over. I go ahead and use Payback because I am, uh, because I'm, there's no way I'm gonna be faster than Manetric, and he goes ahead and sends out Miltank. Oh, that Miltank, that Miltank again. Um, so I do get in a Payback, um, and I'm not sure if I'm faster than a, than a Miltank. Uh, I'm really not sure how fast Miltank is. Turns out um, I, I am slower than a Miltank, which is good for me. Uh, and he goes ahead and body slams me, and I'm really hoping that I don't get paralyzed, but not for the reason that you'd expect. So yeah, I get paralyzed. So I'm like, oh, this is just awesome, awful. But the reason isn't because uh, it paralyzed me, because I've got Lumberry and Synchronize. The reason is because it paralyzed him. And so now I've got to keep slowing down in order to be able to do any damage to him, because Miltank is kind of beastly, and I'm not going to do any damage to him otherwise. So anyway, he pulls back Miltank um, and sends in Manetric. Um, so I go and... Uh, I go ahead and I'm using the curse from the last turn just to try to get slower. Um, I think about using curse, but I decide I'm going to use payback because I am faster. Or uh, he is faster, and I'm so glad I did because he used switcheroo on me, and if he had uh, switcherooed curse on me, I would have been dead. Um, so anyway, I get to use payback, um, which one hit KOs uh, Minetric. What thanks to all my um, boosts, yeah, uh, choice specs isn't going to help me, but I did get two curses off. And so, now I've got a real problem, because Miltank is slower thanks to the paralysis. So Payback is going first, and it's going to do absolutely nothing. Um, and he's got Milk Drink, because what Milk Tank, Miltank doesn't have Milk Drink, and he gets the Parahax. So that's, I guess, helping me out, but there's no way that I'm going to get enough Parahax to take him out. Um, and so, yeah, I'm just doing a, you know, I'm just, I'm actually really hoping that he's going to be able to attack. Because if he attacks, then he can paralyze me, and then I can be slower again and hit twice as hard. Um, but I'm chipping away at the, the, uh, the mill tank, and he's getting parahacks right when I need him to attack. So the parahack is working, working against me. Um, really, really obnoxious, but I keep on using payback. Just, you know, maybe I'll get a crit or something, um, but no, he uses Milk Drink, and so this is just going back and forth and back and forth. 
uh, you know, Mick is kind of the king of putting himself in a situation where he just ends up in a stall war where nothing really gets accomplished. Um, but, you know, that's the way this goes. Uh, Metal Tank finally attacks him, like, please paralyze me, please paralyze me. Um, it doesn't do much damage to me, which is nice. Um, but I also have no recovery method because I'm stuck into payback. Um, so anyway, uh, that didn't paralyze me, and I'm just like, please, come on. Uh, Mill Tank uses Milk Drink again, and I'm just praying that it's going to be able to attack me at some point and get me paralyzed. You know, that's maybe the first time that you're, uh, first and last time you're ever going to hear me say that I want to be paralyzed. Um, but whatever. There really should be a paralyzed item. That would be awesome, don't you think? Uh, you know, just like there's a, um, there's a flame orb and there's a toxic orb, a paralyzed item would be awesome. So anyway, I do get the parahax, finally he paralyzes me, and then he gets the parahax, but he's still faster than me, so payback is going to deal twice as much, and look at that, look at that. Uh, he, I think, have I taken him out, have I taken him out, but no, he survives with like 5 HP. Um, and then he gets the Parahax, which lets me win the match. Uh, otherwise, this might have gone on a lot longer, but I did win. Uh, thank God. Uh, so he did a lot better this time, um, but Mick had, and Mick had to save the day. Um, as Mick keeps having to save the day, Mick is totally awesome, totally wins, you know, an all-star status on, you know, the history of my teams. But anyway, comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge. So long.